Hello everyone, it's again Ashish from Ashish Creations and welcome back guys. So today in this video we are going to create a very you know fantasy glowing earth kind of photo manipulation with kind of you know Kellogg style. So first of all you have to do is just capture some good photos at your home like you know and the sun and light of the mobile you can just keep or a torch light between your legs or near your leg area and it should be facing towards your face. So just click in such a way pose. Now all you're gonna do is let's crop the photo with the help of crop tool and select 80 to 10 ratio. Now select the subjects or the model and the rest of the area we are gonna be doing a dark. Uh, in short we are going to make it more blackish and moody dark. So first of all let's select the subject and just right click on it and select inward inverse and we are going to create a new layer select the brush tool press the alt key to select the nearest color and just paint it with that color rest of the area of whole image just like this way because we just want whole focus on particular one area that is our one you know our hand and also on the face rest of the whole thing we are going to be making a dark so just make sure to make it you know or paint a br paint a, you know dark area paint rest of the image with a dark color or nearest color of the background just like this way now you can just slightly erase it from your legs area because we want a little bit of you know lights near our legs again let's create a new layer select the brush tool and just make sure to keenly paint the area of the near the hairs very precisely just like this way all right so this one is looking kind of very cool and amazing all right so this one is looking somewhat so perfect so you can just take your own time and just do it very properly and precisely so now let's again create a new layer select the brush tool and just make a, create a creamy color or the skin tone that would be an orange cream color and select the brush tool and give one stroke of that on the face just like this and change the blending mode to soft light because if your face is actually dark you want your photo will not be looking so perfect so it is very important to brighten up your face so and the chain you can just adjust the opacity to around 60 percent or 70 percent according to your light convenience now add a glowing you know the globe png i'll put this you know glowing world globe png in the description so you can just download it for free now just place this below the exactly between the two hands and it should look like you know you are facing your eyes towards that particular globe just like this way now again just you can just download this png of this butterfly from the link in the description just select any of the butterflies over there and let me select this with the lasso tool and just select the move tool and just drag and drop over here now i'm gonna be placing it just exactly on the edge of the globe just like this way that it should look like you know it is this butterfly is actually you know sitting on the edges of the globe so you have to place that butterfly in such a way now let's create a new layer and select the brush tool and select the teal color and just change the blending mode to overlay again let's create a new layer create a clipping mask so it only be affected on the butterfly again change the blending mode to soft light again let's create new layer select the brush tool uh, brush tool and just make a softer sky blue color and change the blending mode to screen or light and just decrease some of the opacity so as you can see this is also kind of glowing so this is very important thing because we have to glow this butterfly also So the, now the next thing we are gonna do we, we're gonna do is just you know add the particles that are you know Faraday's particles on the photo so just download this Faraday's particle from the link in the description change the blending mode to screen press ctrl T to enlarge the you know size or just play with the size of these particles and just make sure guys select the eraser tool and just remove the bigger particles from the photo with the help of eraser by erasing it because we just want a very random again just press duplicate by pressing ctrl j and place this below the globe behind the globe area you know png 
and just place one more particles over here again press ctrl j and we can just rotate it randomly and place this somewhere over here so almost all the globe glob is covered with this particle so it should look kind of more amazing and kind of fairy tale kind of thing now again let's create a levels select the adjustment layer give you minor levels from left to right and just bit of increase the highlights from right to left and we can just place this on top of image now again just duplicate the image that is our original layer now press the shift key and merge all the layers select all layers and just merge all the layers yeah now we can just do the process that is a color grid now again select the crop tool and hit once again ok to crop whole image finally go to the filter select the camera filter and we can just change the temperature to kind of bluish so just make it to minus 8 and tint to around you know plus 13 go to the calibration tab and just move the slider from all the way to the left now go to the rgb tone uh, go add a matte effect to the photo by just doing a point go as shown in the video you can just add this the matte effect according to yourself whatever you want you can just do it again select go to the hsl tab and we can just fix the skin tone as you can see my skin tone is actually looking kind of pinkish red structure red kind of look so we have to make it a kind of perfect goldy skin tone so select the red saturation and hue of this red and we can just play with the slider and you can just adjust by yourself until it gets a perfect skin tone just like this way also you can just you know play with the luminescence of the orange and red until you get a perfect you know gold color of the skin now we'll finally add some vignette effect to the photo to more to add a more dramatic and cinematic vibe to the photo that is vignette effect just make the roundness and feathers and increase the highlights 200 percent and just hit ok and guys make sure i'll just put this preset link in the description so you can just directly download this preset you don't have to do the color grading process i'll just put the link in the description as with the png and background so as you can see the before and after is literally looking so perfect so i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make cool videos and presets like this for you guys for free and if you still not subscribe to our channel then kindly do subscribe and press the bell icon also visit our website that is www.ashvicreations.com and filterpreset.com also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just type ashvicreations so guys thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial